All right, guys, my truck doesn't want to turn on, and I was going to show you a trailer that I bought. So go ahead and make fun of my truck. It's a Ford. Or is it? All right, guys, so my truck is very dirty. It was parked under a tree for I don't know how many months. But I picked up a used trailer. Didn't want to spend eight grand on a new trailer, 7,400 bucks to build one. So I bought a used one. It needs some work and some love and care. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that are gonna have to get repaired. Starting with this 12,000 pound jack. As you can see, it's all, all bent there. This has to get replaced. I got some expanded metal there. When that got pushed back, it bent this bottom part of the frame there, as well as this top here. So they put this uh, two by four rectangle tube in there for support. They added this section here to store the registration for the trailer. The wiring is not as nice, so I'm going to redo all the wiring. The breakaway system works. Some cosmetic issues. Um, these angles are bent. I'm going to go ahead and fix them, put them back straight. Put a piece of metal and add a small amber light. Similar to the ones here on my truck, these are red of course, but I want to make it look like a carnival ride and just put about 10 lights per side. That way the DOT won't tell me anything about my markers not working. Now, I don't know if this top rail used to be higher, lower, or if it didn't have one before. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, previous welds on here. And right there where the back axle um and you can see kind of goes downward there's a little bit of damage to the ang wire there on the side and the lumber here is uh it's a few months old i'm just gonna treat it with something and replace these screws these screws are not actually made for for this in my opinion the fenders are 10 gauge um this back panel is cracked this is very thin material the axles are eight lugs seven thousand pound axles Okay, back to this top rail here, as you can see, it's maybe about an inch and a half to two inches of uh, drop here on the back. I want to go ahead and uh, cut all these welds, there, 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 and maybe that one. And then I want to cut where the bend is downwards, and then from the bottom go back up about a quarter inch. So I can go ahead and lift this upwards, close the weld, buff it down, and then add a maybe about a a 14 inch diamond on there on the inside and probably on the outside to reinforce it so it doesn't happen again. And I'm debating if to use a two and seven eighths oil field pipe here, go from a round from a square tube into a round pipe. Um, I want to cut this off. This is no good. These ramps are decent. These are homemade. And uh, I guess they're not removable unless we cut this off and put a pin through there so I can take them off. Which might do that. Small bend on here. But nothing major. Once again, same thing on this side. It's a bit, a bit downwards. This side's not much. It's pretty good. But, um... Uh, I want to redo all that we got the backup buzzer here we got these lights i want to take these off get a different design and do something around here to protect the light from the back and the front side and there's a reason i don't know if this was on here before because of the stake pockets so i don't know if this was a completely flat before or not because there is the design that I've seen that has that and then one that doesn't have it but that's beyond the point right now all the leaf springs look good I'm missing one lug nut on the on the other side we got a little bit of damage here I can probably use my teeth on here whatever's left and bite on that and fix it and then hit it with a brass hammer once again this is uh, about 316 to uh, ang wire I'll use an adjustable wrench in there, pop it forward, and presto. Put 10 LED lights on the sides, 
put two reverse lights on the back put a reverse light up here or at least one that i can turn on with a switch because this truck doesn't have reverse lights something's messed up with the fuse box and chevy wants me to spend four or five hundred bucks on that circuit board in the fuse box and i'm not going to do that so other than that you know fix some of this mumbo jumbo here put uh, something up there for my spare tire and probably put a toolbox or something here on the back maybe something that sits on here to about here and where i can store uh whatever i need to put in there and then i need to make sure i order a handle because i don't i don't see logical for me to build one and spend a lot of time building one when i can just buy one for cheap so yeah this is what i got guys oh this right here i don't know if to keep this on here or get a an aluminum one made they're about 30 bucks on amazon and they'll ask for your vid number your your axle capacity model the year all that information and they'll laser it into an aluminum uh piece maybe about three by four or something and then you can ribbit it on there or whatever you want to do but yeah other than that guys um i gotta check um on what am I gonna use to hook it up on my truck, even though this truck don't have the the security uh, rings there, whatever you wanna call them. I never uh, finished drilling through that uh, half inch steel there. But yeah, that's what I got. 24 foot of, or 24 feet of work. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna be well worth it. And do I paint it black, blue, red? You know, I like red, but the sun eats that color up like crazy. Blue also looks pretty good. Black is very common. Um, you don't see much of the the bad stuff on there, like the, the oil stains and stuff like that. But we'll see what happens. But that's what I got. I got a used trailer. And we're going to fix it up. And I'm going to take you through the process and see how she looks once she's done. And I need to think about a name for this trailer, so if you got a name, let me know, and I'll probably end up putting it there on the side. So see you on the next video, guys, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.